Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for the Cap Guy Show, starring the Cap Guy. That's him. And me. I'm JT. He's never far away, but now I know he's not contagious because he's had that test. So, he's good. And he's good, too, because he's done at the VA, and they took care of him, and he'll tell you about that in a minute. And shout out to Nate and Carms down under. Cap guy bought a bunch of stuff last night from them, so that'll be coming soon, hopefully soon. And I know they're shipping it fast, just depends on how far or how fast they can get it to us. But uh, we didn't have a lot of sales yesterday, but we had some decent ones, so we'll get into those. Cap guys will hit a few yard sales, and then we'll get on with the show. We appreciate all the kind words and comment, or he does, and uh, we'll get on with the show. I'm just just quit mumbling and rumbling and rambling and babbling and all of that. Okay, JT, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Short video today. We love you guys. We love you guys. We love you guys. Thumbs up. Oh, thank you, JT. I'm actually going to show you while I ship because I have three items to ship. I shipped one yesterday that was paid yesterday, and I'll show you that one on the screen. And um, he's right. We didn't have a lot of sales, but uh, there, were, there were some decent ones in here. So um, we'll get into that. There was four total. And um, one of the things I did last night, I sent out a bunch of offers. And I did it in the bulk editor. I, I went in and just did offers of 5% on everything that I had offers on, which was about 100 items that I could send offers on. And then I went into my bulk editor and I uh, sent out... You, the, 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 I always forget to do the promotions when I'm setting it up as a listing. So I, had, I have over 2,800 listings. And uh, I decided to just do it as a bulk edit. So I did 1% on everything that was available to do a promotion on, which was over 2,500 items. So some of the stuff is under $10, so 1%, I mean, it's a dime. So uh, we'll see how good it works. Hopefully it'll increase the sales and um, go from there. I had a couple offers on the doll clothes that I turned down because I've got so many watchers. I've got a watcher on every set of doll clothes that I have out there, and one of them I have about seven, so... When you're lowballing, I mean, even though I'm in the profit big time, I'm not going to just jump at every offer that comes at me. And in some cases, I regret it afterwards. And in some cases, it's, you know, it is what it is. By the way, I bought the stuff from Nate and Carms on Depop, and I've never tried Depop, but I may look at trying that for some of my clothing that doesn't move as good. And um, I'm tearing up stretch wrap here. Or, bubble wrap I should say. I'm so used to being in the freight business and calling it stretch wrap. Uh, of course it's a different kind of stretch wrap in the freight business. But um, we'll get into what I sold. Um, got the, one of the first things and I've been waiting on payment on this. This is this USA Nike hat and it's it's an awesome hat. I kind of wished I hadn't sold it now. Um, it is a snapback and it is vintage Nike. Um, it's got the red swish. If it had the orange swish I'd be kicking myself because that's really vintage. That means it's 70s. But um, anytime you see the Nike with the swish under it, and you got to be careful nowadays of of uh, imposters and where they come out with new stuff that they try to do that with. But I think this is 02. Um, it's got a, a numbers in it, and I, think, I believe that's the date there at the top. But um, it's a really nice hat, and it is desirable. It is it is valuable. Um, the buyer and me, he's in Oregon, and we went round and round on a price. Finally settled on $35 with $5 flat shipping, and then he was specific that it goes in a box because normally I ship my caps in a, um, in a uh, poly bag. So I'm going to do it because I said I was going to do it, and usually on a higher dollar cap, sometimes I'll do that. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here. And I'm putting it in an eight by six by four. And then I kinda, I mean, I do the same thing in a, in a, in a bag and I put a little bubble wrap inside this part of the cap. Um, but mainly I'm doing this because uh, not only was he, and I, and I hate to speak ill of my customers, but this guy was uh, kind of a pain, I'll, I'll say. 
and uh, I'm gonna try to set you up a little higher here. And uh, he was a little bit of a pain because he he just I mean it was a million questions and then and then uh, then he didn't pay me until I filed an unpaid uh, claim against him and then he paid me and then he sent messages and demands and and I'm like you know what dude those are some sometimes I hate to say this but that's sometimes you just don't want to deal with those people so you just rather they not even bid on you because you know there could be problems down the road um, and I understand being picky but there's a point to being picky and if you're a reseller you understand that so you probably deal with it <clears throat> so I'm doing my handy dandy tape and then I'm gonna unlike Lonnie you all know who Lonnie is if you watch his channels I'm a little more anal with the tape so uh, there you go and then I'll weigh it and and print the label and I'll show you that in a minute I've already bagged uh, some Clark shoes, um, and then the last thing, and I, actually I'll just go through the prices as I go. I paid 18 cents for that ball cap. I got it at the bins, believe it or not, and I sold it for $35 plus $5 shipping, so I'll probably make right around $30, $31, $32 on it. Um, the Netherlands cap, I paid 18 cents. I found it with a bunch of baseball caps, and it's a world classic baseball cap. Um, let me see, I got it up here. Uh, let's see if you can see this. Yeah, I gotta get this camera right. I'm not used to moving it around, I'm used to it sitting in one place. This is a Netherlands World Classic baseball cap. I guess they we had a world tournament, and on the back of it, it's got that little thing on it, but. I didn't know what NL was. I was thinking it may be a high school or something. And then as I did the research, I figured it out. I also had um, a Dominican Republic one. And um, there you go. You got to see the instructions from the VA. And, uh, and some others. And then uh, a bunch of major league teams. And I, uh, I've been selling them for a while. I sold that for eleven seventy five with free shipping. So $0.18 cents invested. I'll make uh, maybe about seven, eight dollars. So nothing crazy. And then the last thing I sold, those Clark shoes were. Uh, I paid five thirty-five and sold them for. Uh, what did I sell? Eleven seventy-five plus uh, shipping, and they're going in a priority flat rate envelope. And I'll make. I'll be lucky to make three or four dollars on those. But I'm glad they're gone, and I won't pick up Clark anymore. It doesn't seem to be a great brand. The last thing I sold, I showed you just the other day. I picked this up Saturday at a thrift store, a private place, or a, my source, I'll say. And uh, these are Maui Gems. It's the second pair I've had and the second pair I've sold. I paid $10 for both of them. These are MJ Sports. And I sold these for $79 off of a $10 buy, plus shipping. So I'll probably clear at least seventy dollars, maybe maybe just under that sixty-five dollars after everything. So with these, I'm going to, and I'm hoping I'm not boring anybody. I'm going to throw in a little piece of bubble wrap in here, like I do with the discs on the games and the CDs and stuff. And it's mainly just to keep them from bouncing around in here and then I'm using my handy dandy baby wipe tub and if y'all hadn't heard me talk about these before when I get valuables like Linux Jewel Collection or um, uh, anything breakable that I can fit in these I'm gonna use them and I know what they're used for they're baby wipes but I'm telling you they will protect whatever it is and even though this is in a hard case I don't want it to get crushed if I use a box like this. So it's just extra protection. They're more sturdy than a box and they're lighter than a box because they're very light plastic. So now we will fill the holes and I don't have to do anything but put it on. I don't have to tape it. Well, I do tape it, but... <laughs> I don't have to, uh, it snaps, so now I just tape the crap out of it, 
excuse my language, and uh, and ship it away. So that's what I do. I'm going to tape it up. I'm going to get these to the post office. I'm going to hit a couple of Thursday yard sales. Um, I hope I showed you something uh, or taught you something. Excuse me for the filming today. And um, as always, I appreciate everybody and I appreciate all the kind words. And yes, I did eat. And it was Whataburger. And that was lunch. And then for dinner, I had KFC. But I got to get back on this diet. Um, gained a few pounds during COVID after losing 61 last summer or last spring and summer. So I've got to get back on it. And uh, I've gained a little over 20 pounds. So I've got to get it back off and uh, stay where I am. I'm still wearing the same shirts, but uh, it is what it is. So I appreciate everybody again. Sorry for the rambling between me and JT today. Uh, again, I appreciate all the support that I get. And um, thanks again, Nate and Carms down under, Drifter Thrifters. Check them out. Um, I wanted some of the stuff uh, that I bought, and I bought a lot of stuff, and he made me a deal. And then, of course, the shipping is kind of a little high, but it is what it is from Australia. And um, some of it I'm going to keep, and some of it I'm going to resell. So I appreciate it. And y'all have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to. And uh, we will talk to you again tomorrow, as we always do. Cap guy out.